tonight, the first time we're doing this in LA, and came here all the way from Chicago. So please give Johan a warm welcome. He's here to show us Navigon. So we're just, are we ready with the tapes, or should we? We're good, okay, great. So do you want to show the video first? Why don't you tell everyone what Navigon is first? Yeah. Thank you very much, Seth. And my name is Johan. Um, I'm a PR manager at Navigon. And Navigon is one of the world's leading providers of navigation solutions. We develop navigation software, but also navigation devices. And uh, what I'm going to present to you today is our iPhone app. And uh, it turns your iPhone into a standalone navigation device. So you don't have to take you know, another device with you. For me, it was very helpful here in LA. I've never been here. I rented a car at the airport, plugged my iPhone onto the windshield, and you know, I was ready to go. And especially with the traffic here in LA, it's just insane. I think I had about 300 traffic messages um, shown in my app, and our, our app actually can route around traffic. But uh, yeah, I have a little video that runs you through the app. And um, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay, th what you see here is um, the starting screen, so you can enter a point of interest or an address. And I'm just uh, going to a point of interest to a hotel here in LA. And uh, what you see here is a new destination information screen that shows you important information about your destination, such as, as uh, weather information, but also parking options uh, or gas stations, for example. And if you click on the weather, you get a three-day weather forecast um, of your destination. It shows the temperature, but also the weather conditions. And you can also click on the parking feature, and then you will see the parking options that are available at your destination. And you start the navigation with this little button. It's a simulation here, because it's inside, of course. Caution. There are several new traffic incidents concerning your route. So this message means there's a lot of traffic going on in that area. And you can click on the map screen, then you come from the 3D view in the 2D mode. And we integrated the multi-touch function in the app, so you can zoom out. And all these little yellow symbols here, they're all traffic incidents. Miles, turn right onto West 5th Street. And you can actually click on this little red button, and then it will show you uh, an alternative route, because there traffi is traffic on your route. And uh, you can also go on details, and then you will see traffic messages that are in your area. And you can scroll through all the traffic messages um, just like that. Uh, we use crowdsource traffic, so it uses traffic information from actual drivers on the road. And you can click on each traffic message, and then you will see uh, information about the traffic incident, such as uh, the speed that drivers are driving at. Yeah, and this is our map view. And a feature that you see in the little corner is called Lane Assistant. Um, it shows you which lane you have to choose on the highway. And uh, another feature that's very interesting is Reality View Pro. It shows you 3D images of complex highway interchanges, and that's what you see here. So you exactly know which lane you have to choose, and it also shows you the actual road signs on the road. So once again, we had you at our very first app show uh, present in September of last year, or sorry, November of last year. What's changed since then in Navigon? Now, so keep to the right. let me mute to this. <laughs> um, yeah, our app has been in the App Store uh, for a year now, and since then we uh, released six updates and added over 30 features. And our la latest update just came out two weeks ago, and in that update we included updated maps but also the uh, live weather functionality so that you get the uh, weather information about your destination and the clever parking feature that uh, provides you uh, parking options that are available at your destination. And one thing that a lot of people um, had been waiting for is the multitasking in iOS 4. So now, um, before it had been a little problem when you were navigating and you were getting a call, the navigation was interrupted. And now you can actually take that call, continue to get directions, and also click on the screen, and 
see you know the map view in there, so you so you're not interrupted. Or if you have Pandora on your uh, iPhone and you like to listen to music, you can also do that at the same time. Yes. Oh, your location. Oh. How accurate is the GPS? It works in the same way as any standalone device that you can, you know, buy at a consumer electronics retailer, because we use the GPS signal. We not only use the cell towers, but we actually have a GPS. The iPhone has a GPS receiver built in, and we u we use that. So yeah, it's very precise, and the app also has the maps on board, so you don't rely on the cell phone signal. The maps are already on there. There are some off-board solutions that have to download the map material as you navigate. We don't have to do that because once you buy the app in the App Store, you download the full North American app uh, map, and then you're good to go. You just need the GPS signal. Yes. Oh, you want to repeat it? Repeat the question. Yeah. He asked if we have um, apps for other countries. Uh, yes, we have um, an app for Europe. We have an app for South Africa, for Australia, for Russia, yes, for Canada. <laughs> we have one for Mexico. We have a lot of different uh, countries. <laughs> I imagine you have one for Germany and the rest of Europe, seeing as you're a European company. Um, so, you know, I think we should we should tell everybody what what does the app cost? Uh, right now, it sells for seventy nine ninety nine for North America, um, but we also have regional versions. So. If you live on the West Coast and you just want the West Coast, you can buy our Western app for $29.99. And what's really good about this is that you download the full US map, but only the West, Western US is unlocked. So later on, if you ever go to New York, you can simply unlock uh, the East Coast for an additional $15. Now you don't have to download additional map material. So that's something that's... Uh, a unique model that we introduced a couple of months ago. From a marketing perspective, how do you compete with free services, Google Maps and others? Um, yeah, there are a couple of free solutions out there, but most of them were completely different to our solution. Um, they are mostly off-board, so that you rely on the uh, cell phone signal. And when you don't have a signal, you can't navigate. Or at least when you leave the route, you know, you need to download new maps and then you're lost. And ours has the maps on board. That's one big differentiation point. The other one is that we've been in the navigation industry since 91. So we have about 20 years of experience. And our whole user interface is really for a dedicated navigation device. And we have a lot of unique features, such as the reality view. We have 3D features. You know, We have lane assistant. All these features are really dedicated and driving related features that um, some free apps don't offer. Of course, you can get from A to B with a free solution. But um, if, you, if you drive a lot and if you want um, some dedicated uh, solution, then you probably you know, want to pay for it. So we're actually out of time, and I'm going to get the last question in. Sorry, you can ask. Uh, they've got a table over there. You can ask him afterwards. But I want to ask, are there any advantages at all to having a standalone GPS unit, or is this really just as good to have Navigon on your iPhone? Because the price is, is comparable, maybe. I think it really depends on the user. I have to say, if you drive eight hours a day, you know, if you're a professional driver, you might want to have your device separated from your phone. Um, also, if you want to have a bigger screen, you know, there are some PNDs, out, some navigation devices out there that have bigger screens. But uh, f for most of the people out there, our app just works perfectly fine. And it also has some advantages to have an app on your phone rather than a standalone device because a smartphone already has connectivity. So it has a data plan and you can access live information such as our uh, traffic information, Google local search, but also the weather information. Uh, whereas a PND, a standalone device, you need to add that connectivity, and that usually adds extra costs. So that's definitely a benefit of the smartphone. Johan, thanks again for your support of the App Show and being here today.